everyone i've got a work on how to liberate the cult outpost pinko radar station in complete stealth get that undetected award once you're done get that thousand dollars bonus cash and then i'm also going to be showing you where to find the hidden safe and get those silver bars once we are done with uh, liberating this cult outpost so this is going to be located in jacob's region on the far west side of the region on top of this big mountain Okay, we're going to be entering from the northwest side of this outpost, and we're going to be using the compound bow, throwing knives, and uh, regular takedowns. And if you don't have the compound bow, just make sure to go to, over to a general shop and purchase it. It's the most basic starting bow that you can get, and it should be very cheap, and you should have access to it without having to unlock anything. Okay, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more walkthrough videos like this. I'm going to be doing a ton of cult outpost walkthroughs to come well actually not a ton more like four i think left i don't know something like that but a ton of prepper stash walkthroughs and then i will be doing a bunch more far cry videos as the time comes and if if whatever video games come along i'll be doing walkthroughs for those as well for if you have any suggestions so yeah make sure to subscribe and also leave a like if you're excited for what you're about to see okay let's go ahead and hop in like I said, we're entering from the northwest side of this outpost, and we're going to be entering this door right there on that structure. You can run up to it and then uh, crouch, slide in, and then just make sure you crouch the rest of the way in here. And it's going to have sacrifice right above the door. Okay, we're going to crouch walk into that, and then we'll go up this right here. And then we're going to climb this ladder. Once you get on top of this ladder, you're going to bait this guy over with a rock. You're going to get spotted briefly, so you need to get the heck out of there and get around this little structure right there. Then you're going to throw a rock like that to bait this guy over. Okay, in order to take this guy down, you can use your bow or your throwing knives. I'm just going to use my throwing knife here. Hit him right in the chest, and you're going to leave him right where he is. You're going to turn around, and then you're going to take out this guy that's going to walk over to this spot right here. In just a second, he's going to crouch down. Make sure he's in between both of your dots, those little orange dots in your aim, your sights. And then uh, you're going to take him out and make sure you aim a little bit above the bottom one. You should be able to hit him square in the back. Leave him where he is. He's done. Okay. Then we're just going to loot that guy. You can take this loot right here. Every now and then it'll have more ammo for you in case you're low on any type of animal. I would suggest having full ammo before you raid any type of outpost like this. Just in case you miss a shot. Okay. Anyways, we're going to jump down the side of that railing right there. And then we're going to run around now. This is where your hidden safe is going to be, but I'll show you that once we are done. Okay, if you get start getting spotted by anything, make sure that you crouch right away. Okay, there's going to be a guy right here that we're going to take out next. Just go to these bushes right here. And you should be able to just stay undetected. If the bushes aren't working good enough, which they weren't for me right then, you can use these rocks as cover as well. Okay, anyways, you're going to wait until this guy gets, like, right here. He's going to stop moving for a second. You can take him out. Okay, then you're going to climb over these rocks, and we're going to pick up his body right away. Don't leave him laying here. That is an absolute no. Okay, and we're going to drop his body over the side of this cliff. Okay. So we're going to move over here, and like I said, uh, drop his body. Now if you want to throw a body further, just aim up when you're about to throw the body, and then you'll have better luck at throwing it further. Okay, so we throw him off the side, and then we're going to go ahead and take this guy down over the cover. You're just going to pull him inside this building, and boom, he'll be done. Okay, take this guy down. And we're going to move his body next. Then we're going to take out the shield guy that's in the center of this area. Okay, we'll move over here. And once again, we'll throw his body over the edge. Aim up, and you'll throw him further. Okay, good. Now we're going to come right over here, and we're going to use the hotkey for throwing rocks. If you don't know what it is, I would check your controls. Um, anyways, for PC, it's T. All you have to do is press that in, and we're going to throw a rock right there. A little bit behind these sandbags and we'll bait this shield guy over here always a uh, helpful thing that you can do is use your binoculars because then you'll know where people are at okay and then we're gonna throw another rock right over here and bait the shield guy a little bit further 
If you throw the rock in the right place, you won't bait this other guy, which is important. You don't want to bait him. You only want to bait the shield guy. And make sure you throw rocks behind the flowers here. He stopped right in front of the flowers. If you wait too long, he'll turn around, so throw another rock if need be. Now we're going to perform a takedown. If he's about to turn around, you can sprint up to him if you can close the distance fast enough. Okay, now we're going to leave this guy right where he is, and we're going to go back into this building here. And we're going to perform another takedown. We're going to try to get this guy next with the triangle right there. We're going to wait until he walks back our way. We need to get rid of this guy before we can move on. And that we still don't have one guy spotted. He's generally he's walking around through this building right over here that I'm aiming at. And he does come outside occasionally. Okay, this guy will be turning around soon. Just be patient. Patience is important for these cult outposts. You don't want to rush it too much. If you rush it too much, then you're gonna find yourself running into problems okay he's gonna be turning around pretty darn quick here so these two guys right there the guy and the wolf they're gonna walk up here and yep here he comes he's gonna walk back this way okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a noise inside this building once he gets close enough and we're gonna bait him inside here Okay, so he's close enough, we threw a little rock, and now we're going to bait this guy inside here. And you can take him down with your bow and arrow this time, or throw a knife, whatever you feel more comfortable with. If he doesn't move inside right away, just throw another rock, you should be able to get him in. If he really doesn't want to move, then you'll have to move a little bit closer and actually take him down outside. Don't smoke him too many times though. If you throw a little bit more than three rocks, then you can uh, make him go for the alarm. Okay, I took him down right there. Now you're gonna wanna pick up his body and move it right away. You don't wanna leave a body out in the open like that. That can ruin your whole entire undetected takedown of these outposts. Okay, now is probably the hardest part is taking these two guys out right here. You want to take out the guy first and then the wolf. And you have to do it really fast. <laughs> if you mess this up, that ruins everything because the wolf will howl. If you take down the wolf first, then you have to take down that guy. Either way, you have to move quick for both of them. Okay, and you want to be careful of the spotter. And make sure this guy is not aiming this way. He's aiming this way right now. You're not going to be able to take down anyone because he'll see it. And then you have to wait, make sure the spotter's in the right spot, blah, blah, blah. There's so many things have to come. Oh, don't get too close to that wolf. Okay, stay away from wolves. They will smell you, and that ruins everything, too. So, yeah, all in all, this is just kind of a tough part. Okay, this guy's in a really good spot to take down. We're going to hit him with an arrow, and then quickly aim again and take down the wolf. Okay, the wolf was, for some reason, harder to take down than normal. I've generally taken them down with one arrow, but that didn't work for some reason. So now, since we're running into problems, this, even if this does happen, don't worry. It's not the end of your stealth takedown. You can still take down the rest of these guys. So just keep your bow out or use your throwing knives, and there's two guys left here. Okay. Okay, we're going to take out this guy next. Okay, all we have left is this guy right here. We're just going to come up behind him. And we'll hit him. Oh, there he is. And he didn't detect us, so we took him out. Now, if you don't get detected like that, usually the wolf should go down with one shot from my arrow, which was really strange that it didn't because I've done this many times and it was one shot. I don't know if that was a glitch or what, but um, if you want to feel more comfortable, use a sniper rifle with a silencer 
that is guaranteed to take down a wolf with one shot. Um, but yeah, that was awfully, awfully weird. I really don't know why the wolf didn't go down with that one shot. Anyway, the that wolf, that wolf is gone. If it didn't have, uh, if it didn't get take four shots, then what we would have done is you take those two guys down right there, and then this guy, the spotter who is standing right there, he walks around. He'll get to right here, and then you take him out right there, and then there's only two guys left. So what you can do is. Uh, wait till the guy that was in this building for the most of the time walks back in here You take down the guy that's outside He's the one who's shooting the pistol the whole time at the target right there Then you go inside and finish off the last guy anyways what we did worked fine as well uh, Even if you spook your opponents, there's always hope that you can still finish Undetected as long as you don't make them go for the alarm and they don't actually spot you completely and alarm other people they can uh, get their little bar to find you, but if you take them down before they alarm other people, even in the little outpost area, you're good to go. Okay, enough of my rambling. Thank you all for watching. That's all I have for you in this video. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more walkthrough videos like this. Leave a like if you like what you saw. Check out the video on my link in the top right corner of the screen, and also join the Discord chat. Link is in the description. Oh gosh, I'm lying. No, 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 don't leave yet. Don't leave yet. Don't stop watching. One more thing. I've got to show you the stash. Okay, it's in this very far building on the west. Okay, right by the quad. Oh, jeez. Can't believe I almost forgot. Give you guys promises and then I take them away. Okay, it's right in here. Boom. You're going to pick this lock for the safe. It's going to open up in just a second. We're going to take our bow back. Okay, take the cash and boom, there's your silver bars. Then there's going to be a ton of weapons in here. Shotguns, rifles, rocket launchers, bow anything you want okay that is all i have except uh one other note there's a key at the top of that building up there i'm not sure what it's for yet so uh that's all i have to say about that but yeah like i said before make sure to subscribe for some more videos like this i'll see you all in the next one